So I hope that this bill will uh, take off uh, this discrimination against women. The Sharia law is mainly focused on family law and all family law in the Sharia courts are regarding how women to be uh, counted as a second a citizen within the community and all the law is in support of men. So there is no any equal rights for women and women and children will suffer by the Sharia law in the UK. So it's affected women who lives in the UK. Uh, our clans are mainly from Muslim community. For majority of them, it was extremely a very bad experience. When they came back, they say they didn't listen to us. They didn't even want to hear what we are saying. All question was, of course, for their husband, and it was the man. And uh, they told me that even they mentioned that it was abuse or violence, or domestic violence or other form of violence at home. Even they didn't consider it as a problem at home and sending women even back to the violence husband. They didn't consider a rape within the family at all and they considered that as a, uh, as a women's duty to respond to the, to the husband need. You can see children in push chair, they are wearing hijab. Of course, they didn't choose to wear hijab. This is their partner to cover them uh, to wear hijab. I believe it's a child abuse. Forced marriage, child, early marriage, and child marriage under 16, they are all child abuse and needs to be changed in the UK and should not be allowed to be practiced by any religion, uh, which is happening within Sharia law and Sharia courts. Uh, last year, we had uh, uh, over 1,700 calls uh, directly from uh, women themselves that they seek advice or from professionals that they seek advice for their own client, which uh, over 500 of them, they come and uh, get advice face-to-face, -face, uh, confidential advice. Uh, the majority of them, uh, of those cases were all related to different kind of violence, including honor killing and forced marriage or even female genital mutilation in the UK. The majority, of course, of uh, the cases were domestic violence and many of them, uh, uh, the issues of divorce within Sharia court is that, that uh, a woman can seek divorce, but she cannot get divorce without husbands say okay or divorce her. So divorce is a man issue, not a woman issue. And a woman can uh, stay for years and years without being divorced. Uh, then many of them decided to not go through this very painful procedure. Polygamy, it's a huge problem in the UK. Over 40,000 uh, family uh, with polygamy living in the UK. Uh, actually, we have got uh, several families, several women that they are suffering within the polygamy family in the UK. Of course, uh, for Muslim men, Sharia law is very important because it's giving them lots of rights. Whereas for women in the UK, they prefer to go to civil law. Uh, because under the civil law, they have got equal rights and equal entitlement, whereas under the Sharia law, they haven't got equal rights. Uh, one of our clients, uh, she was, uh, or she is a Muhajiba woman, she is a Muslim woman. Her civil divorce, it takes just a few months and she get divorced, but her uh, Sharia divorce took more than three years for her. And it was a very difficult and painful procedure for her. I remember when I asked her, do you want Sharia law to be practiced in the UK? She told me, Diana, you forget how I have been suffering during my divorce. So I am a Muslim woman, but I am not agreeing to have Sharia law in the UK. And she told me that we are in a free country and this civil law actually uh, have as much freedom on the base of human rights for everyone. So I believe strongly that the majority of women are uh, very much prefer to go to civil law rather than Sharia law. Another issue in the under the Sharia law is uh, custody for children. Uh, under Sharia uh, law in the UK, women are not entitled for custody for children. We have got quite few cases 
that why civil law, the children has been uh, custody for children given to the mother, whereas the father took the children by a different passport and taking them back to their country. And it was even without the permission of the mother. The other issue under the Sharia law in the UK is about inheritance. Uh, in in Sh where Sharia law, a woman uh, has uh, the right to have half of a man uh, inheritance. That means two women will have an equal inheritance with one man. And again, it shows how it's uh, the discrimination against women is born within the Sharia law. And I, I believe really Sharia law doesn't work for women. It is very much against uh, women's rights. It's very much against human rights. It's very much against equal rights and equal opportunity. It is extremely discriminatory against the women in the UK and against ch children in the UK. And because of all these things, Sharia courts needs to be closed and all banned in the UK.